Our friends, my name is Namaso Jonathan. Again, I'm here to take you through on how we can set validation rules into our COBOL toolbox for such. You might be maybe want, uh, for example, an age category uh, to respond to your questions, but you find maybe some data collectors are going to uh, young, young children or old people, which is not your category. So I'm gonna show you how best we can set validation rules so that in case I put a long, long edge, then the form is refused or it is rejected. Let's go by sharing the screen right now. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Uh, that is uh, Go Use Dev, and everything will be found there. Thank you so much. So we're having such a questionnaire here. We're having this questionnaire and uh, wanted to see at least uh, how we can at least set the validation rules into this tool. So uh, for example, I'm going to use the question of the edge. Let me use the question of the edge, which is here. Hope you can see this. Yeah, so what are we are going to do, you just come to settings here, the this arrow here, just click there. Then once you come there, you'll find options of uh, question options, the escape logic, and then there is validation uh, validation criteria. So you just click on validation criteria there. What you're going to do, you're going to come and add condition, add condition. Once you add condition, they will show you that this question response has to be. Uh, so you come and just click there, just click here. Uh, there is equal to not equal to greater than, less than, greater than or equal to less than or equal to. So in my question, remember when we're doing data collection, uh, our respondents should be adults. So we're going to make it at least 18 and above years. You understand? So what you can do, you can just say maybe greater than. So you can say greater, if you want to make a criteria of 18 years, you can say greater than 17 years old. But now we, can, we have also an option of greater than or equal to. So we can say, greater than or equal to, then when respondents value, you can just put 18 years, 18. Then after that, once you click to save, and then you say you want to preview your, your, your form. If you want to preview the form, just click here and then uh, wait for it to load. You wait for it to load. Yeah, so basically our question will be looking like this and uh, I want us to go to where this edge. So once I click on edge, then maybe since we are doing greater than 18 years, let me put 17, I want to check. I press enter, you see value not allowed. If I put 12 years, I press enter, value not allowed. Once I put maybe 18, I check, you see it is accepted. When I put 100, yes, it is accepted. And if I put one, value not allowed. Yeah, so basically that is how we can set uh, our very, going to validation rules into combo toolbox. You can even add another one. Maybe add another, you can say less than now. Maybe you want to say less than or equal to, uh, then respond value, you say maybe 70. You don't, you, you at least this, this respondent should be between 18 years to 70 years. You understand? And then you have to come here and uh, you make sure that at least question should match all criteria, all of these criteria, you understand? then you mark it. So you come and save your, your, your form. Then I also wanted us to change the error message because there they are saying that uh, valid response. But here I want to say dear respond, dear, dear, dear research assistant, dear research assistant, the respondent, the response, the respondent should be 
above, above, okay, should be between, between 18 years, 18 years to 70, 70 years. So that is the message we shall be receiving. So once I, once I click on preview again, we need to first save the form and then click preview again. Once we click preview again, uh, you'll be able to, to see that our, that our, our response has to change. Let me come back to edge. So I'm putting 12, I press enter. Dear research assistant, the respondent should be between 18 years to 70 years. So let me put 70. I want to check out if I put 70. 70 has accepted. Last time we had put 100. Let me put 100 now. 100 years. You see? So basically, this is how we can... Uh, this is how we can uh, set validation rules into Cobo collection uh, two. Uh, please, I'm begging you kindly remember to subscribe to our channel, Go Use Tech. Remember to like, and remember to share these videos to your friends because uh, they might have helped you, but still there's someone who's still struggling to get the solution. So try to share, to share these videos to your friends so they can also learn. In case you've not understood anything, kind of drop me an inbox, drop me comments. I'll be able to answer all your questions. Thank you so much. I stop here.